my topic for today's discussion is regarding generic medicine and whether they are permissible or usable in cardiac patients and why exactly do I not advise my patients to use generic medicines at least in the first one year of the heart attack. Uh, although this topic will be extremely controversial and the people who are supporting generic medicines, the people who have extreme cost concerns or the people who are related to the government in any way, they would be uh, disagreeing with my concept and they would uh, maybe argue also and blame the doctors as is always been the trend that people tend to blame doctors uh, that they support branded drugs just because of financial reasons. But I will give you my logical reasons why I tend to not prefer my patients taking uh, generic medicines in place of branded for at least the first one year of a heart attack that this topic I'll be discussing with perspective beyond the financial issues. This topic is going to be extremely useful and practical for you. So I would request you to see the video till then. The, coming back to the topic, uh, what are exactly generic medicines? Generic medicines mean a non-branded uh, medicine or a salt which is sold in the form of a uh, packing or a material. Everything is almost the same but it is a non-branded version of the same medicine which is sold at a cheaper price or a discounted price or a subsidized price. There is some difference between a subsidized price and a cheaper price. Cheaper price is uh, the cheaper version of the medicine which is coming from the company itself. The subsidized version is which is sold in the government shops in the form where the government is giving some subsidy to reduce the prices of these medicines although both of them are generic but uh, in a different way. So there are the chances of the subsidized version being of a better quality are much more because at least someone is paying for the cost and someone is paying for the difference in cost. But the generic versions even whatever discussion I have had with the company people, the company people say that the quality standards and the cold storage standards are usually less often uh, maintained in the generic versions that is what they say. Although as a doctor or as a uh, routine patient, we have no source to see uh, whatever is happening inside the factory and uh, how exactly are generic medicines prepared, what is the quality uh, standardization of them. But usually what I tend to feel is that in a branded medicine, the reputation of the company is at stake. If at all anything happens with a, a patient in a given uh, molecule or any complication occurs to the patient, the reputation of the company comes to at stake and the p uh, patient uh, will never want to take a particular molecule of a given brand if at all some reaction occurs with the given medicine and the doctor will also try uh, there will be a tendency of the doctor also to lose confidence in a given molecule if there are significant side effects with a particular molecule or if there are quality concerns especially and the medicine is not working which means that the sugar molecule is not performing at par with the other uh, medicines a uh, BP medicine is not performing as compared to what it is doing in other patients. So the brand value or the uh, reputation of the company is at stake in a branded medicine. That is why the branded medicine, the company people are obliged to give the latest technology, the latest absorption patterns and the best packaging to their materials so that the quality of the product is maintained. But in a generic form, sometimes to cut down the cost, there are high chances that the company might use, uh, uh, use a low quality salt or a low quality packaging material or a low quality uh, standardization of things might be done, low quality cold stage uh, storage management might be done for the same product and that is why uh, these products might be substandard in some ways. And the problem in using generic medicine in India is that the, subs the quality standardization in India is usually not that good because usually a lot of food and drug inspectors they come for invigilation in these factories and we all know that how exactly and uh, uh, is the matter held, uh, dealt with uh, these inspectors and how vigilantly they are monitoring all the drug qualities. Uh, previously also there were some articles that generic medicines uh, were tested and multiple tests the quality of the molecules was found to be substandard and despite that fact there was no police uh, investigation and no significant factory shutdowns or any uh, legal actions were taken in these factories who were manufacturing substandard medications. So many times in news also you find people are making medicines in their own homes, making people uh, medicine in their substandard conditions, making medicines or just filling powders instead of uh, uh, medicine uh, packagings. So whenever these medicines are sold in the generic medicine shops, there is no reputation of any brand which is at stake and anything can be sold in the garb of medicine in these scenarios. That is why usually 
from as a cardiologist i am very hesitant to advise my patients to take generic medicines at least in the first one year of a heart attack the problem being is that if at all the patient takes generic medicines and the life of the cardiac patient is completely dependent on these medicines even one day also if the blood thinning medicine doesn't work the patient can have an acute stent thrombosis and within 5 minutes also the patient might die uh, in a diabetes medicine or a hypertensive medicine or any other disease at least the deterioration of the patient will not be that fast and within minutes also the patient might die and as a doctor also we also sometimes are in a very bad position because we fail to understand what exactly happened with the patient whether the there was a stent thrombosis whether there is any clotting problem with the patient whether there is blood related problem with the patient whether it is diet there is any dietary related problem in the patient whether there is any interaction of the drug uh the quality of the drug usually we want to keep out of the equation because once we have prescribed a given medicine to a patient we want that the medicine should go inside the body and do its job if at all it is not doing the job and the patient comes to you in a broad dead situation or the patient comes to you in a situation where the condition is so much deteriorated and the stent is clotted the entire blame will come on the doctors because at the end of the day no one will go to the pharmacy shop and hold the collar of the pharmacy people that you have sold me substandard medicines people will always put the blame on the doctors that uh, the doctor would not have put a good quality stent or the doctor would not have put the stent in appropriate way that is why the problem has occurred the doctor the surgery was not done in a very fine way that is why the patient developed complication that is why the patient developed infection that is why the patient died so at the end of the day the responsibility of the patient having a good outcome and a good survival lies only on the doctor and none of the pharmacy people none of the industry people will share the blame that is why at the end of the day quality for us will matter the most because our reputation is at stake as a doctor our reputation is at stake we cannot give the paper substandard medicines because if any complication occurs to the patient the doctor will be the first person to be blamed for diabetes hypertension and for cholesterol and other problems usually if at all you take generic medicines i don't mind them because the survival of the patient is not dependent on these medicines but when the survival related medicines are concerned or when there is an issue that the patient's life is dependent on a single molecule at least i would not want to risk any of my, of my family members or my own life or any of my patient's life in this bargain that the patient is given a substandard medication about which i am also not very confident and the patient goes back home and something happens to the patient that is why at least in the first one year of an angioplasty i do not recommend generic medicines to the patient i ask them you do whatever you want but try to manage the cost at least for one year of an angioplasty Uh, at least to the very high risk patients to routine patients who are suffering just from bp cholesterol or hypertension it doesn't matter 